everyone, Alexa from Tina Creek and Allie is here with me as well. We are going to be making a milk carton bird feeder. So we're looking forward to figuring out ways that we can reuse and upcycle some common household products that you might have in your house to make something great for our environment. So step one is we're going to take a marker and we are going to mark the areas where we're going to be cutting out. So I'm going to mark the square right along here. And remember your square does not have to be perfect, it's just a rough line for you to follow while you're cutting. And we're going to be doing that on all four sides of the carpet right here. scissors. Be careful and make sure you have an adult with you if you need some help. We're going to be taking our scissors and cutting along our squares. So we're going to cut out our carton. step on all four sides. Okay, for step three, I'm going to be adding in a perch, one going this way and another one this way. So to do that, I'm going to take a paper clip, which I will bend open, and I'm just going to poke a little hole right in there, and then I'll take my scissors and just snip it open a tiny bit further. And again, remember, if you are a kid, make sure you ask your parents for help. Okay, so we are snipping right through there, making a little hole, and then I am going to do the same on the other side. And once I get my holes in, I will take my little dowel and slowly wiggle it in. You don't want to make your hole too big because you do want this to hold on nice and secure. So I'm and then also throw on my other side. Okay, so once I have this side through, I'm going to poke holes here on this side. I'm going to make sure that I make them either higher or lower than my current dowel. So I've chosen to be lower on this side. Through, line it up with my hole on the other side, right through just like that. Perfect. And as you guys can see, they are crisscrossed. Okay, step four. We are going to be attaching our strings that you can hang your bird feeder. So I'm going to again use our handy dandy trick of a paper clip that we have unfolded to poke a hole on the opposite side of our cap from our uh, milk carton, just like that. And I'm going to take my scissor and just kind of wiggle a hole in there. Again, if you are a kid, help from a parent is recommended. We are then going to uncap our milk carton and lace our string through and then through the hole that we just created. The fifth step of this project is to decorate your bird feeder however you'd like. We have these paint pens that we can decorate with. We also have some foam stickers available and we will be decorating however we want. You can make it colorful. It is spring. So bring some of those bright colors into your garden area or your balcony, wherever you're going to be feeding your birds and add some color with different stickers, different paints, however you'd like to decorate it. It's up to you. 
here is our completed bird feeder. We have decorated it with our paint and our puppy stickers. So now that it's fully decorated, we're ready to put in our seats. And there is our finished bird feeder.